Let's start for an address, an account to, to do your trading. All you need is a username and a password. Just like what you did with the, just like what you did with the smart cash web wallet. You just pick a username and a wallet uh, and a password. This is how you can trade. You go to markets. You see that on your on the left corner, markets. If you want to trade, you see that. You, you, you click on markets and then look for smart stroke BTC. Smart stroke BTC. As you already know, smart cash tokens are known as smart. Like Bitcoin tokens are known as BTC. So you find smart stroke BTC there. And you see the BTC symbol, the, the, the smart card symbol there. I think you can see it at the corner there. Let me push it in the projector here. You can see it at the corner there. Then you know that this is where you can buy and sell smart cash. You told it. You go. Wallet 
on your account on Pen Exchange. And you can use it to buy. And if you want to sell your smart cash, you can send it from your web wallet or your PC wallet to the address attached to your Pen Exchange account. And then you can sell it. So as you can see, the selling, I demonstrated the selling here. I demonstrated a buy which is in the green. If you want to sell, you leave the red color. You see the red over there. You see, this is where you can sell. So you can do the same thing. The amount you want to sell, 10,000, you tap it in. The rate you want to sell, it, you tap it in. And to calculate the Bitcoins you get when you finally sell it. So you take your time. Go to bed, that is we are about four lessons, but this is the best thing I recommend for you. It is easier to use. The others are a bit technical. As you are getting into it, it's very well. You can try the other exchanges. But this is the best. It is easier to use than your rate is the best so far. All the exchanges, smart cash is called. So when exchange is the best I'm recommending for you. Take your time. Go to the website, learn how to buy, how to sell it, and you can trade other currencies too. And you can buy smart here. Sometimes when the rate, some people are want to sell, and their rate is cheaper than the rate that is going, you can buy those ones. You can use this platform to learn how to trade between Bitcoin and smart cash and other cryptocurrencies. Any questions? Yeah, I'll tell us. Are you saying we should reach? And yeah, you need to create a thing. It's an exchange yeah. where you can sell and buy the smart cash. So you need to set up your account. When you go there, you see that register. When you register, when you register, you will automatically get wireless attached to your account. Any other questions? Uh -huh. That is what I've been demonstrating here. You come to the markets and then you look for smart cash. You will see that smart cash to BTC. See it on the board there. Smart cash to BTC market. <laughs> so if you want to buy smart cash with your BTC, you use the green. If you want to sell smart cash for uh, Bitcoin, you use the red. So you see buy smart, you see sell smart on the screen there. The green is for buying and the red is for selling. Okay, what up? Yeah, if you have not in your wallet, as I said earlier, what you have to do is you copy the address of your Bitcoin wallet attached to this account you create a coin exchange. And then you sell it to the trader you are buying the Bitcoin from. And the trader will send you the Bitcoin to that wallet. Then you can use that wallet to buy your smart. So you have to form your wallet. So that you can, every coin that is being sold here, you have a free wallet. So far as you sign for an account on coin exchange. So all you have to do is to go to the deposit. When you go to the deposit, you find all the wallets of the addresses you need, all the wallets of the cryptocurrencies you need. You see your Bitcoin wallet there, you see your smart cash wallet there, you just copy the wallet address and send it to the trader you are buying other smart cash or Bitcoin and then you send it to the smart cash or the Bitcoin, whatever you want to buy. So in our case, we want to buy Bitcoin and smart cash. The trader who comes here, you send him orange money, he sends you Bitcoin, but you have to send him the address, not the address we created yesterday. Okay, you can also send the address we created yesterday. When they send it to you, you can then send it to the address on this wallet, on your exchange wallet. But make sure you don't keep much of your money on your exchange wallet. It's only when you are ready to sell or buy something that you send your pound there. You don't just to keep money on exchange. Hackers play there a lot. That is where we try to see the weaknesses of that particular exchange and steal your money. There has been a lot of essays that have been hacked into and they lost millions of dollars. So those your wireless you have on your PC and your tablet and your phones. Always keep your phones there until you want to sell. 
or you want to buy something, then you send it to your estate and then do the selling. The moment you finish selling, move it, whatever you bought or whatever you sold, move the funds to your personal wireless on your PC and your this thing, your phones. Are you getting me? Now, if you want to buy smart cash, you have Bitcoin on your phone wallet or your PC wallet. You send it to your wallet on your credit exchange wallet. And then you use it to buy or sell. The moment you buy the new smart card, move that smart card to your smart, uh, uh, smart wallet. Either in your everyday spending wallet or on your smart reward wallet. So that you can get smart reward. And it is safe for you to keep it there because it is safer. It comes from the, the source. The exchanges are dangerous to keep funds there, especially when they are involved. Just move them to your personal wallet. Don't keep money on the exchanges. Only send money there when you want to buy or sell. Any other person? Can I buy directly from your wallet? No, no, that is your wallet. That is not an exchange. If you have dollars and you want to exchange it into CFA, you go to your foreign bureau. This is like a foreign bureau. Okay. Okay, then can you, can you, um, Buy and sell. Yeah. Just send it to that place. After you sell, you move it back to your phone wallet. I hope everybody also copied their ID, their security ID. It is very important for because that is when you lose your password. That's the ID you use to retrieve your funds. The wallet. Uh, the web wallet or smart cash. Please make sure you keep the house in order. Any other questions? If there are no questions, you go for photos. I let the buses on each way. All of you should pack your tents and we'll be on our way after the photograph sessions. Those of you, okay, I will, I will talk about that later. <laughs> In the website, take your time and go to the website and play there and learn how to buy and sell and start.